Now you're very welcome back to the programme this afternoon and John Hamill from Atheist Ireland is on the line with us. Uh, in relation to that issue that we were discussing a few minutes ago with Robert Troy and the controversy in recent times over the situation with regard to schools and the idea that uh, children would need to be baptised before they can attend a Catholic school. John Hamill, what's been your reaction or, or what's been your thinking when you see this issue raising its head again? Well, I heard Deputy Troy talk about uh, parental choice um, as a cornerstone of the Fianna Fáil policy in terms of uh, allowing parents uh, a choice of multiple different uh, denominational schools. And I think that's just completely delusional. And your listeners will know that if, if they just pause to think about it for a moment. So lots of towns all over Ireland have lots of different people with different denominations. I live in Castle Blaney, County Monaghan. We have two schools in the town. They're both Catholic schools. Uh, but lots of the residents are Muslims or Hindus and, of course, people of no religion at all. And Deputy Troy's proposal around parental choice implies that we have to build four or five new schools in every town in Ireland. And, of course, that's never going to happen. So the, the answer, if, the, if, if you like, if the problem is sectarian uh, discrimination against children, the answer isn't more sectarian discrimination to have more denominational schools. The answer is to have no sectarian discrimination. If we have a publicly funded school system, then all Irish citizens should have access to that publicly funded school system on the same basis without being discriminated against based on the religion of their parents. It would, I mean, as a lot of people have been saying, while this issue came up, John, in um, the Dublin area, where, you know, obviously there are a lot of primary schools oversubscribed in certain areas, not enough room, not enough room for all the pupils who want to attend. As you mentioned there, we don't really have that problem in the more rural towns and, and villages. And, you know, it would be a case, I'm sure, that there are lots of schools out there, um, Catholic run or not, where your religion doesn't matter, surely? Well, uh, firstly, I think it's not the case that the problem only exists uh, in Dublin, where there's oversubscription. Because, in, uh, as you say, in small towns all over Ireland, where we have people of many different faiths and none, there are only Catholic schools. And what that means is that Catholicism is being imposed on parents of other religions against their wishes. So uh, at Atheist Ireland, we believe that we should teach about religions in school. We should teach about religions in a pluralist and, and an objective way. But religious faith formation, where we tell kids which religious denomination is correct, who has the right answers and who doesn't, that should be something that people opt into rather than have to opt out from. So all over Ireland today, lots of people have Catholicism imposed on them by the state, uh, and we but think that's just that's wrong. Not the case in the school, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not certain here, but I would assume that even at primary school level, if your parents don't want you to receive religious instruction, then you don't have to, surely. Well, that's what it says in the Constitution. There's a constitutional right that uh, any parent can opt their child out of a, a, a subject in the school that they have a conscientious objection to. But it's not the case in practice. So we have Rule 68 for national schools, which requires all primary schools in the country to integrate religious education throughout the school curriculum. Uh, and that's imposed by all Catholic schools. So whereas in theory the Constitution says that parents can opt their children out of religi religious education, in practice it's just not the case. So, I mean, what's your answer then for Atheist Ireland? As you say, you acknowledge that we can't go building schools of various um, denominations in smaller towns uh, in particular. We're never going to have that choice. You believe that there should be no religion whatsoever taught in any school? No, uh, absolutely not. We think it's very important to teach children about religion. For example, it's impossible to understand uh, European history without knowing about religion, but it should be done in an objective and a pluralist manner. So we shouldn't tell children by default which religion is true. What we should do is teach them about religion, teach them what all of the different belief systems are, and if parents want to their children to be brought up in a particular faith, of course that's their right. 
but they should opt into that. So, for example, if we have, let's say, the last two hours on a Friday afternoon or for faith formation and, let's say, sacramental preparation for Catholic kids, then it's easy for the um, the non-Catholics to opt out of that. But that's not the situation at the minute. As I say, Rule 68 for national schools requires all primary schools to integrate religion throughout the curriculum. Um, and the United Nations Human Rights Committee has told Ireland to remove Rule 68, but it's the Catholic Church that opposes that. All right, all right. Well, listen, John, thank you uh, for joining us. We just wanted, as you say, to balance up uh, any debate here on the show in relation to it. It's something that's not going to get solved overnight, but thanks certainly for your contribution this afternoon. Thanks. That's it, John. Thank you. That's John Hamill there from Atheist Ireland. Okay.